What's up everyone, this is David, and today I want to tell you a little, a little story. So I want to talk about this basketball organization. This basketball organization is a college basketball team, and they go by the name of UCLA Bruins. And this team is very special. They're very special because, not because of the players, not because of the system that they have, but back in the day, it's because of this one special coach by the name of John Wooden. And John Wooden, he was recognized as the winningest coach of all time. And John Wooden, he had a very special philosophy and how they achieved all these great wins. So one of his philosophies was doing the best you can. Doing the best you can. And he, his style of teaching and the style of playing was very counterintuitive. Like he wouldn't look at the other team. Like he wouldn't scout other teams and see what they were doing in their system. In fact, he didn't even see the other team as a competition. What he did was he specifically made each player play to the best of their ability to fully release their potential out on the court, right? Doing the best you can. And he would not let his players slack off. They had to take maximum. They had to be maximum, maximally proactive. You know, they, have, they had to put their all on the court. In fact, if somebody was slacking off, even though it was their best player, he would take them out the court. And here's something that really stuck with me. He said, the this, this, this score on the scoreboard doesn't matter. If we won that game on the scoreboard, but you didn't play your best out there, we lost that game. We lost that game. But if on the scoreboard, we lost the game to the other team, but if you gave it everything you had out there, then we won that game. He did not, he, he was not focused on the outcome. He was not focused on the results. He was focused on doing the best that you can. He was focused on process. And this is a concept known as non-resistance and acceptance, non-attachment. So you want to do the best that you can, but let go of the outcome, all right? Whatever it is, do it because you love to do it. You enjoy to do it. And here's the thing, like John Wooden, they didn't really focus on the outcome. They didn't focus on winning, winning the game. They just focus on doing the best that they can on the court. And paradoxically, because you don't focus on the outcome, you know what's gonna happen? You're most likely gonna get the outcome. He won all those championships, 11 championships, crazy amounts, the most in, in like NBA history because he didn't focus on the outcome. <laughs> so being process oriented will get you more results. Being process oriented is being results oriented, right? You're caring the least about the, about the results, about the outcome, but you're subtly caring the most about taking action, about doing your best out there. So this is a great mindset, great philosophy to adopt. And by the way, like, like I said, if you focus less on the outcome and more on the process, paradoxically, you will get more of the outcome. But you can't use like, freedom from outcome as like a tactic or technique. Ah, I want the results, so I'm gonna use this tactic called freedom from outcome. Then it's not gonna work, right? You really genuinely have to let go of the outcome. You really gotta enjoy the process, right? Play for the love of the game. You really gotta, you know, like, for the joy, it's for the joy of the dance, right? You really got to enjoy that process. All right, so, so that's a little story that I had for you today. Hope you found value out of that one. And if you want to enroll in a, a free training that I provide, then please click the link down below or in the, the link in the bio and you can get yourself a free training. So that's it, and I will see you in the next one.